All right, let's get this bolt loose. Okay. Uh oh, uh oh, this is not gonna come loose, is it? Oh, geez, I think we just rounded that off. Okay, to get off these uh, rounded off bolts, uh, you gotta have a couple of options depending on the size of the bolt. Uh, you know, different options are available to you. The most, uh, the most, the quickest and the easiest option is to go buy uh, special sockets they sell for these. Uh, I have those sockets. I bought a metric set for 20 bucks at Harbor Freight, so they're not that expensive. But you know, if uh, you know you have other tools in your uh, arsenal, <laughs> you might want to try them first. Okay, so one tool you could use are locking vice grips. You want to pick the largest one that you can fit around that bolt, and you have enough swing room. Depending on where the bolt is located, these usually work well on uh, you know bolts where you can get a good grip on them. They're, and they're probably medium sized bolts and uh, basically you just get them as tight as humanly possible around these and then you lock it in place and then basically just try to turn it a lot of times they come loose with these but uh, other times they don't so we'll try this see if we can lock this in okay let's try this oh. Nope. I am just contributing to the process of rounding this off completely, so I'm gonna stop it with that. Okay, next thing you can use is basically you can go try to find the different size socket and hammer it on here. These torque sockets work well uh, if you can get the right size. If you have the right size that would fit on there, if it's a little tight, you just, again, you just hammer it on. Don't be afraid to. Uh, you know get some force and use some force with your hammer there is absolutely no swing room here so I cannot really hammer this on there tight tight enough to turn this without further <laughs> rounding this off further so uh, that's not really an option for me this is not the right size anyway I don't think I have the good size torque socket for this you know actually if there was enough swing room here I think I could hammer this on but uh, there isn't so I'm just gonna go ahead to the next option Okay, next, if you have a Dremel or like an angle grinder or something that you can cut a cut into this bolt a little bit and create some space or a notch in that bolt where you can stick the screwdriver and then you can hit the screwdriver in the back of the screwdriver with a hammer, you can uh, sometimes you can get them loose. This works on uh, smaller bolts or fasteners or uh, nuts, but uh, you know, on this size bolt, it's probably not going to get it loose. It might help break it up a little bit, a little bit where you can, uh, after you try this, you can try the vice grips again, see if you can turn it. Uh, but it probably won't get this bolt loose completely on its own, okay? So a combination of this and the vice grips might work on a bolt this size. Okay, so the right tool for this job is gonna be these bolt extractor sockets. I got a metric set at Harbor Freight. Uh, I got this set for 20 bucks. Um, and these are, these are gonna work the best because they're made to do this job, you know, on this, in the, inside of them they got these, uh, um, they're shaped, you know, they have all these different angles, they're going to catch any kind of imperfection on the bolt, you know, as long as it's not like complete, completely round or cir circular, <laughs> you should be able to, this will catch something on that bolt and it will turn it loose, okay, but the thing is, you need to get the exact right size and even then, this is gonna still require me hammering it on there. Again, there's no swing room here, so I'm gonna just try my best to to uh, to get it on there as tight as I can before I start turning it, okay? All right, the tighter that thing is on there, the better, because I don't really want to round this off any further, okay? Okay, I feel it turning. There we go, jeez. All right. Okay, and if you need to get this off this uh, socket, basically you just use your vice grips or, you know, whatever you can, you have to get hold of some place and just hit it with another one or, another, or a hammer or something and it will eventually come loose. Okay, and here's a closer look at the bolt we just took off. As you can see, there's hardly any edges left to this thing. 
So yeah, uh, a good tip I can give you is always use a six point socket when you are going to take off any bolts that are on your exhaust uh, system or on your engine, directly on your engine. Um, those 12 point sockets, uh, a lot of times they round off these bolts, especially if you use them on the, any bolts on the exhaust system. Okay, and also you obviously want to go replace this. You never want to put this back on there because even if you don't put it on tight enough thinking you have an easy time, you know, loosening this with the vice grips or whatnot, the heat from the engine, it will, you know, this will get a lot tighter over time and then when you go to take it off, then you're going to have a hard time again. You're going to use the, the techniques I just showed you all over again to, uh, to get this off, okay? So yeah, with that said, hope this video helps people out there. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more like it and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.